Look at that, we've overtaken Williams. We are now, what is that, the eighth best team in Formula One. We continue to move, we continue to groove. In terms of things going on, we are spec to pretty much every facility. And do we have any R&D in progress? We have a, a three minor R&Ds coming. Two of which will be ready on March 22nd and one on April 4th. That's a major. Let's take a look and see. I think we'll wait to do R&D until after the practice sessions. We'd love to get those on. We'll take a, we'll take a look after the, uh, the practice sessions okay, are over. So we have plenty of time. We have a lot of money. Let's take a look and let's look at upgrading some of this stuff. Build time on everything is pretty much the same. Um, let's potentially look at the RN resource point generation, maybe. Getting even more, I don't know. Or maybe we try and max out more of our personnel. Let's upgrade the simulator. Let's, let's invest in our people. Let's invest in the people of the team, and they will come, and they will reward us in turn. But it's Albert Park. It's Australia. Let's go to work. We need to look at our... Did we at 2,100? Oh, did we jump? We jumped Alpine. We are now the seventh best car, or the fifth worst, depending on how we want to look at it. Um... Side pod profile's coming in three days. Let's choose the... It's a minor. A major rear downforce. That would actually be huge. It would deal back to back. And it would come before Baku. Better efficiency, you mean more downforce? Yes, let's do it. And then with the last 500, we unlocked more, more chassis ones. That's good to know. Do we have? Wow, well, we have no. We cannot afford any durability upgrades. I want to start doing more durability. We need to. Uh, we need to. But let's head to qualify. All right, we make it through in 12. By the looks of it. All right, we make it through to Q2. Easy. No doubts whatsoever. No doubts at all. Alright, we find about nine tenths. Is it enough? It was close. It was so close. Ninth! Let's go! We're through. Let's go. Love to see it. Oh, we needed to make it into Q3 here to have any kind of chance. Here we go. Currently sitting P10. Let's find some time and let's have a good finish here. All right, we found about a half second. Where is it gonna be at the line? Seventh? Eighth? Ninth? Oh my. Bro, I thought that was a decent lap. That was a decent lap, what happened? It wasn't the perfect lap, but I thought it was a decent lap. That's tough. Come on, man. 
Wow, we were still a half tenth away from Oscar there. We're eight tenths down from the leader. We have a long way to go, both in the car and in my own skills. The car is a tractor here, yeah. The car is not looking great. To be fair. Welcome to Melbourne and welcome to the Australian sun. We're still getting used to some track revisions here, but the core hasn't changed. This is a beloved classic of the F1 calendar, and it's time for the Australian Grand Prix. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria, where the drivers have 14 corners and 3.28 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles per hour. Close proximity of the barriers make accidents inevitable. And recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Sainz, Hamilton, Perez, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, the rookie, Gasly, Ocon, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Albon, Magnussen, Joe, Sargent, Bottas, Stroll, Liam Lawson, De Vries, and Theo Porsche. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And what would any Grand Prix weekend be without the one and only Natalie Pinker? Now, can I get your take on Max Verstappen? What a quality performance. The big question, though, is how does that translate on race day? Can they... And they hold the lead, only time will tell. After the Battle for third in the constructors, race, and that save is going to be super intense. Going. That's facts. All right, we're racing right at the end. Do we start on the hards and try and make it all the way to the wet? It could. We can make it work. Or we try and stretch mediums. That is our, that's the choice here. I kind of like starting i think i like the idea of starting on hards and try and make it to rain we need to we need <sighs> the problem is it's gonna rain right at the end is there gonna be enough laps i don't know are we gonna fall in that far behind oh i don't know do we start on mediums and try and make it to rain the <sighs> no we're gonna do it we're gonna do it let's be bold let's be bold let's be bold Starting on hards. We're going till the rain. I'll take out a little extra fuel to try and help us out in the beginning. Let's be bold. It's gonna rain. We're taking a chance and we like it a lot. Let's do it. Starting on the hards. We're trying to go to the rain. Let's make it happen here around Australia. To five red lights. We're starting on the alternate of all alternate strategies. Let's see what we can do. Oh, a terrible start for Hamilton and a fantastic start for us. Okay, DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Dude, the straight line speed is crazy. Add in the fact that the AI is always super fast in a straight line anyway. This is absurd. I want, well, okay, Lewis is just taking it. Yeah, my collision with Jekko, 100%. Lewis is still pulling away from me, even though I have DRS, by the way.
What am I do? What did I just see? Try to stay with them. They might make a mistake and we could still regain the position. Okay, Teo's in the pits. Teo's oh, in the pits. Teo, I did you dirty. Alright, we moved up to like third at the start of the race, slowly made our way back down to one position above where we were. Alright, I was really hoping the rain would come way later than this. for 10 minutes at least. Says you. Weather report. At least another 10 minutes until this rain evens out. Stay alert out there. Drys definitely seem like the fastest tire at the moment. I mean, our rain lights are on. Okay, mate, we might need to look at a new race strategy after that. I've got some options for you, so go check your MFD. Copy. Yeah, I I agree, Mark. Thank you for uh, for concurring. In the pits we go, along with pretty much everybody else. Nice. A fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Teo's coming in for his stop now. Woo! 
Brilliant. Nice, nice move around the outside of Carlos Sainz there. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 3.3 seconds. Oh, okay. It's all relax. What a f what kind of pace is that Ferrari got right now? I'm not even trolling. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. I want to keep this gap to George, if at all possible. BSC, BSC. Okay, VSC ending. We're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Oh man, I got worst case scenario on that restart. Wow, just because that VSC we lost two seconds to Carlos. That's tough. And the gap behind us is 3.7 seconds. All right, well, I am definitely not a wet weather maestro, and so I think at this point it's manage the gap and try and uh, just bring it home. I think at this point we're only gonna lose time ahead and I'm hoping that Piastri and George behind will, you know, battle enough. Let us just kind of hang out. Uh. Took a little bit to get kind of focused in. Max for seven wins. But we start in the top ten. Joe retires on the pit straight, or on the uh, the pit entry, I should say. There it is, P6 in the end. Good points for the team, good results. Absolutely right, lovely stuff. We need to get better in the rain, and we got to continue to work on the car. We took a bit of a gamble with the setup. It honestly, I think it helped us more in the dry than it did in the wet. But in the end, in the wet, it did just enough. We come home, decent points for the team. We take those every single day of the week, and we move on. Stronger than ever. Let's have a quick look. Let's take a look. Eight points for the team. Love to see it. We've gotten points in every race of the season so far. Theo Porcher moves up from last to P16. We love to see that. Theo, we love to see that. Jungle you officially qualifies. What is it in there? No, it's not qualifies. It's I can't remember. But not too shabby, not too shabby. Good points for the team, and we'll move on next to Baku.